Hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm here today to talk to you about Dardinia concentrica, or otherwise known as the cramp ball fungus. Let's get into it. As I said, Daldinia concentrica, otherwise known as the crample fungus, the coal fungus, or King Alfred's cake, um, is a concentric uh, bracket fungus that grows off the side of trees, um, usually struggling or dead ash trees. Sometimes has been seen on birch um, and possibly hazel, I think, but usually it's ash. Um, so they are notorious for being in habitats where um, other mushrooms don't like um, to grow. So they're quite difficult to find, um, but they're easily identifiable. Um, they're a non-edible fungus, and like I say, their, their primarial use is um, for tinder, for fire lighting. So this is the crample fungus. They're called Daldinia concentrica because of the concentric lines throughout the middle as you can see here and like I say they were previously used for fire lighting or for transferring fires um, for nomadic people so if you had a camp and you needed to move to another place you could you could have this it was called the coal fungus um, and basically it would take a spark or an ember um, and you'll be able to transport it very easily um, to the next place. These have been drying out for a long time. Um, you do need to pick them at the right time. So they start off um, in the infancy of their um, of their cycle as um, almost like a blood red burgundy colour. I'll, uh, I'll try and put a photo in here um, as to how they look when they're in their infancy. Um, they then have a sporing cycle that lasts most part of the year um, and then they turn black. Um, and that's when you need to pick them. And basically, you wanna try and get ones that are on branches that are upright or out of the rain, um, because the heavier they are, the more moisture is in them and the longer they'll take to dry out um, for them to work. These are, as you can hear, the sound, have been drying out for quite a while. So they're nice and light now, so they should be good to go. Um, but they have been drying on my windowsill for a very long time. And even after you pick them, um, you gotta get them at the right time of year because I picked these a bit too early um, and as you can see here um, they were still sporing so um, yeah they're <laughs> notoriously messy um, and they go all fluffy and furry just on the tops of the um, the tops you would you would consider uh, most mushrooms um, especially polypores or bracket funguses or um, uh, fungi that grow out of trees anyway to have a bit of a lip or a skirt um, and for them to spore out the bottom. Um, however, these guys, these spore out the top of the actual fruiting body, um, and it almost looks like fluffy steel wool or, or cotton wool, which is really, really bizarre. So I'll just, um, I'll show you what that's like, but it's, um, it's a really, really odd sporing mechanism, to be honest. So they will take a spark from a ferro rod or a flint and steel. So I'm hoping that they've dried out enough um, and I can show you that. But yeah, they are a really, really, really handy tinder to have in your fire lighting kit. In fact, I might show you on a stump over there actually because they are rolling around. Let's get rid of all these dry pine needles. But as I say, they're... Um, they can be quite fiddly and they roll around so either chop them up into little chunks or you can pin them down with the ferro rod so i'm hoping that this stump is just going to be a little bit easier than where i was earlier so see if i can show you see they are very fiddly <laughs>
don't know whether you can see that, but that just shows you how good they are. interesting story when it comes to the crample conger and why it's called King Alfred's Cake. Just wait for all this wind to pass. Um, essentially, King Alfred, legend has it, was um, losing a really, really important battle and he took refuge in a, in a nearby village and stayed with a little old lady. And he was so embarrassed that he uh, surrendered um, and that he was losing the battle and that his troops routed that he said to the old lady, you know, what would it cost for you not to hand me in and give away my location? And she was, um, she was making some cakes and uh, baking them in the oven. And she said, well, I've got loads of other housework to do before my husband gets back. So can you watch these cakes in the oven for me? Make sure that they don't burn. And in exchange for that, I won't tell the opposition where you're hiding. And lo and behold, Alfred was procrastinating in this uh, this old lady's little cottage and um, wasn't really paying attention to the cakes and so they subsequently burned um, and they were turned as black as soot and so legend has it that this story um, of how embarrassing that story was and how embarrassing it was that the king at the time lost not only lost a battle um, but ran away and hid in a little old lady's um, cottage and burnt her cakes that it was told up and down throughout the land and ever since then the cramp fungus or Daldinia concentrica was known as King Alfred's cake. Alright guys that's it for today's video I hope that you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up down below please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Yo. Entering the planet we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes